Admiral Anup Singh, explain to Adil Bopa Rai, the Congress and everyone watching at this time, why the Indian Navy would benefit from the presence of these drones. And are you suspicious that maybe we are paying more than is warranted for this uh, transaction? No, the simple answer is that we need a dramatic shift to the situational awareness at sea and so in the air and so over our land borders. Mm -hmm. And this entire debate about, you know, RFPs being floated, etc. Where, where else have you got an equivalent uh, drone? Is there at all any equivalent, sir? There is no equivalent. This is the only UCAV and UAV which is battle hardened over Afghanistan, over Al Zawahiri, over General Soleimani and um, Syria. Where else have you got any? There's nobody else who has anything <laughs> similar. No. And if somebody says the Chinese, God alone knows, first of all, do you want to buy anything that is Chinese? No, most certainly not. Would it be reliable? No, the Chinese have two SEP systems, the Kai Hong 4, the Wing Lung 2. These have been supplied to Pakistan. These can apparently stay in the air for about 20 hours and fly at speeds of 370 uh, kilometers per hour, which is much less than the capabilities of the Predator drones. We're actually quite lucky that we're getting them, and if we can get them faster, better. Isn't that the point you're making, Admiral Panu? Um, uh, first of all, Rahul, insofar as China is concerned, sorry, it's a no-no, not of only course. for me, but for the three defense forces. B, reliability. C, this drone is 40 plus hours of endurance and Correct. it is hail. And a lot of noises are being made. What about DRDO? What about this? What about that? DRDO has been able to make an equivalent of a male, a medium altitude, long endurance uh, UAV. We need a hail and 40 plus hours. Can you imagine going to the so Malacca? Explain that to viewers in simpler terms. What's the difference between what the DRDO has made domestically and the capabilities of the Predator? Admiral Anup Singh. High altitude, long endurance. We haven't reached there so far as indigenous development is concerned. How long could it take the DRDO to get there? I think they need a lot of transfer of technology in so far as gales are concerned. And please remember, this fellow apart from 40 plus hours of endurance with limited payload, will have, still have about 24 to 30 hours with full payload of almost two tons of ammunition, including air to surface or air to ground missiles, etc. There is just no comparison. Adil Singh Bopara, you are hearing from the Admiral and from the General from the Army. There simply is no weapon system that compares. And if we are getting it through a government to government deal, we get it sooner. And if the Americans are willing, willing to make some of what they already have available in stock with their forces or with, general, or with the company that's manufacturing them and make them available to us quickly, we should be thankful that we are getting these weapon systems nobody as quickly as we are. Answering, Kamal Saab, nobody is answering the elephant in the room. Which is? And the elephant in the room is the price comparison. I think that is the nub of the matter, and I'm saying this at the cost of repetition. But what are you comparing what with? You can't compare apples and oranges. If a whole if MRO system compare, for maintenance, repair, overall is being set up in India, well, if all the drones the sold analogy, across the Asia analogy, come there... By the same analogy, by the same analogy uh, Mr. Kabul, the government of India is not purchasing vegetables from a market. This is 25,000 crore rupees of taxpayers' money. We cannot take the logic to a point of an over-the-counter purchase. There are RFPs, there are processes. And those processes have been designed and envisaged to ensure the best bang for the buck. And one time-tested method is a tender process. On one hand, you circumvent the tender process when you make an in-principle intention in a joint statement. Number two, DSC says $3 billion. The government of India shouts the entire deal in secrecy. There is no transparency. There is no indication as to the value of per group. What is the opposition and what is the country supposed to do? Let me put that question to Give General the Panu. That to this government. That the, the argument the Congress is making is that the U.S. bought these same drones at $56 million per drone. The U.K. Air Force bought them at $12.5 million per drone. The Australian government at $137.58 million per drone, but later cancelled because they found the price too costly. Spain at 46, Taiwan at 54 million, Italy and Netherlands at 82 million, Germany at 17 million, and India, if the price that's been announced is the price at which the drone is bought, each drone would effectively cost $110 million. 
is that too much or is that totally the wrong way of looking at how this weapon system is being acquired? General Pannu. Uh, now you look at uh, the system per se, it carries modular payloads, it has got the EO, IER and Linux uh, multi-mode radars which are very rare to have as a combination. It has got the ESM and laser designators and illumination. It has got a C band uh, line of sight data links. It has got KU band beyond line of sight SATCOM data link. It is transportable and uh, uh, self deployable. Uh, uh, so, as a result, the kind of payload that it carries, the kind of loitering and the range that it gives you, you cannot say that what others have because they are very uh, different uh, variants of the same uh, predator. MQ1 was different. MQ1C Grey Eagle was different, MQ9 was different, and also when you're talking about the kind of uh, deal it is, most of it is going to be assembled in India, and about 15 to 20 percent just might come to the Indian companies for uh, building components, which will give a good business to India, 10 percent uh, of the total sales. 